What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is British Roads ain't got nothing on America. They don't. Yeah. Uh, from, what, from what we've seen, they don't. They're absolutely <laughs> massive. I'm sure Lawrence is going to tell us how big they are. Mm -hmm. He's going to give us some examples and we're going to be mind blown. I think it yep. is. You ready to get into it? I am. Smash that button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Check out Patreon as well. Movies, TV series, all that good stuff is going on there. So we'd really appreciate it. You ready to get into it? I am you. British roads ain't got nothing on America. What we got? For those of you not in the know, Katie Freeway is not the name of a popular girl in high school. It's the name of a freeway in Katie, Texas. Okay. Fair enough. In Katie, Texas. Okay. I didn't know that was nice. Hello, I'm, I'm Lawrence, and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America love lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to roads and specifically how British roads ain't got nothing on America yeah. and when I say that I'm not necessarily talking about the quality of the roads I mean I used to live in Indiana no in <laughs> fact lot, and you can probably see it in my eyes no surprise that I'm talking about size Look and whoopee do says Uncle Toby America tiny, has British. bigger roads mm. so what it's a bigger country of course it has bigger roads but by the way just an a complete exaggeration. Yes, America has bigger roads than the UK. The UK has about America equivalent roads to the UK as England does to Jersey. Yeah, yeah, so Jersey, I want so, you to you, you 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 think in, the same. When you look at America versus England, yeah. like in terms of roads, think, the size about, difference. think about the size difference. That yeah. is that the same way for England and Jersey. Yeah, literally we have in Jersey tiny, tiny roads. Whereas I'd say probably eighty percent of the roads if well, they're cars like that, are coming but they're two ways. They're two ways, so you've got to pull into a driveway yeah. constantly. Like they're like that, but they're two for two cars. Just go on Google Maps, search Jersey Channel Islands and just look at some of the back roads. We've got basically two one main road which is forty mile an hour, everything else is only thirty mile an hour, and then some things are twenty. Most, most things are twenty now. Yeah, most things are twenty now. So exaggeration it ain't got nothing on jersey like jersey ain't got nothing on america or britain yeah jersey's just a <laughs> little thing we've got tiny roads <laughs> but its major roads are big and astonishing in ways that are big and astonishing i think it was another of my uncles dr emmett brown who said roads where we're going we don't need roads he was from the north of england <laughs> yeah he's not but 30 years earlier when doc was busy inventing time travel there was another man who saw things differently in 1956 several months after emmett brown first visualized the flux capacitor dwight eisenhower signed the federal aid highway act into law mm. okay. and this authorized the construction of an interstate highway system that would total more than 40,000 miles of road wow. this absolutely revolutionized revolutionized US travel to the extent that in America there are 0 0.84 vehicles for every human and child. What? In the UK child? this number is considerably lower. Of course there we can partially rely on a comprehensive nationwide transit system. Yep. In the yeah. US for reasons that I delved into in a previous video and which I will link to at the end of this one, Let's the nation's transit out. system is not as far reaching and this was a big shock to me England when I first moved to the United States. Transport. Yeah I mean, I mean we literally was up north like last month in Rotherham and we managed to get to London within an hour just hopping on a train yeah. direct they do, we didn't even, even need to swap even in London like even, I, mean, I suppose London's kind of like New York yeah with the subways with the subways and stuff like that but, but, um, but London got, has like England has trains across the whole country across the whole that, country that are, that's a big thing that are consistent and you can access pretty much anywhere in the UK on a train yeah, you may have to get on a couple trains but, but you, you can, can access you can it get there. and it's quicker than driving in the same as well. day in the same day yeah, yeah. definitely and so when I realised early on that you couldn't get everywhere by train or boat or flying DeLorean, I immediately realised that Uncle Doc was full of <laughs> Not only did America have a lot of interstate and existing routes, but they were bloody big buggers. Yep. And let's take a look at how some of the longest roads in America compare to those in Britain. Just this morning, I had the urge to hitchhike in the manner of an 80s movie protagonist from Chicago to Seattle. And then I remembered that this was a terrible idea and that my remains would be found in a barn in Montana. But wow. yay to America's interstates because you can do that, the driving, not the hitchhiking. 
Specifically in this case, we're talking I-90. And if you know anything about your American interstates, Interstate 90 doesn't just run from Chicago to Seattle. Your journey, okay. not to be confused with the band of the same name to Seattle via Chicago, not to be confused with the band of the same name, starts in Boston, not to be confused Look how with big the band is. of the That's same crazy. name. One for, one and that takes in a staggering 3,000 miles of road. And it's not even the longest road in America. That accolade goes to US Route 20. Okay. Running from Boston to Newport, Route 20 is 3,365 miles. Yeah, see, that's mad. The longest road, road is the A1. Not to be confused with the British-Norwegian boy band of the same name. Or the steak sauce. The point is, at 410 miles in length from London to Edinburgh, the A1 is considered by most Brits, myself included, to be a considerably long distance. Oh, yeah, that's massive. But again, Britain is much smaller than America. This makes sense. The thing that really stands out to me here is that our longest road doesn't go coast to coast. But even if it did, okay. if it went from John O'Groats to Land's End, that would still only be about a quarter of the distance of US Route 20. And I think before I moved to the US, I wasn't quite aware that you could make a straight shot from the East Coast to the West Coast along a multiplicity of roads. Look and I confess at that. I only so many. This sentence so I could use the word multiplicity <laughs> and this clarification so that I could say it again. On top of all of this, I learned today, the United States co-hosts the Pan America Highway. And the Pan America Highway spans both continents of the Americas to form an unfathomably large highway network that traverses Alaska to Argentina. Wow. At 19,000 miles, it's a 13th of the distance from the Earth to the Moon. That's and quite it's the mad. longest of its kind in the world. Yeah, that's long. But that as I mad. tell myself often, not everything comes down to length. Sometimes we have to consider this. Yeah, which width is massive for you guys. What do you think of when you, you think of British roads? Do you think of those adorable and quaint country roads? That's Jersey. That is Jersey in a nutshell. But instead of just being every so often in the UK they country roads. They are road, more common than not. That is, that is just a Jersey road pretty much. But that's two way by the way. Mm. So you guys are like that is two way. You've got to pull in. If there's no pulling, you've got to reverse back. Yeah, like this little thing on my left here. You'd have to pull in there normally. And there's Bed's not really come. many of them on yeah. some roads. Some roads you've got to... And if it's on the left, you got to pull in. So Some you're just hoping you could, it's on the left. You've got to turn into those roads and just pray there's no cars coming. Yeah, literally like, oh, I can't be bothered to. I hate it. I cannot, I cannot reverse. Yeah. I've got a camera, so that's it. Like, it's even easier. <laughs> it should be. Roads that can barely fit a tricycle. If so, you've never been on the M25. At this point, the M25 motorway is more or less the de facto border of London. Okay. And due to the increased traffic of the capital, at its widest, it has a whopping 12. That's quite mad. in each direction. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Never been on it. What? Huge, right? Wow. America laughs. Multi-lane roads of these proportions are as common in the United States as oxygen. Some are it's considerably <laughs> wider even than that. Take, for example, the Katy Freeway. For those of you not in the know, Katy Freeway is not the name of a popular girl in high school. It's the name of a freeway in Katy, Texas. At its widest, and this is completely and utterly a little bit insane, it has 26 whole lanes. What? Sure enough, when it comes That's to roads and as it happens I'm litter, so scared. you don't mess with Texas. As evidence. Imagine you need to get from these. one lane to the other, the other lane, the last lane. Yeah, but that's, that's 26. That's a lot of lanes. A lot. Here's a fun fact. Ever heard of the term spaghetti junction? Yep. Well, despite yep. its name, it did not originate in Italy. Nor, like a lot of Italian food, did it originate in the United States. It originated in Britain. In oh, the wow. mid 1960s, okay. spaghetti oh, junction ringworms. was the nickname used by journalists to describe Gravelly Hill Interchange. Oh, wow. And this is perhaps Britain's most famous interchange and, at a reported five levels, one of its tallest. But in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, five level interchanges are just another part of the scenery. None yeah, see, more notably. I didn't know if you cared any of them. No, I didn't. Like, I, I know it's an American thing and I've seen it as an American thing. I just assumed it was American. I don't know. I, I didn't know if the UK had one. I mean, I've only been on a motor about four times. Yeah, so. we, we have a drive. Probably more than that. I've been to England rather more than that. But, yeah. But you get what I mean. We stick on the same route from the south to Rotherham pretty much. I go on that same road every time I go to England. Yeah. <laughs> and then the comically named High Five Interchange. Get it? It's like a high five. 
you won't be doing much of that on this interchange. The point is, it's the tallest one Whoa. in the world. That's and mental. insanely large spaghetti servings aren't just unique to Texas. You'll find them in a multiplicity of cities, most famously Los Angeles. Yes, he bats I'm told the traffic is so congested, it's almost yeah. neck and neck with that of my channel. That's it for this episode. Thank <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. That like, was good. A little bit was covered in the video we did the other day about the size difference. Yep. The longest road, obviously, mm -hmm. and then the Land's End. Um, Stuff like that, wasn't it, in yeah. the UK? But that was good. It was good. Learned, was learned a bit so more. Funny. Seen some mega, like, 26 lanes. That's mad. Not for me. I'd have a freak. I'd get freaked out with the two lanes in Jersey. Yeah, I know, innit? But at least it won't, be, it won't feel as tight, I guess. Is it still super busy? No, nah, I guess it is tight, though. Because if it is still super busy, then you've still got cars either side, yeah. you know what I mean? But, like, everywhere. everywhere. No, I get, let us know in the comments how busy. How busy does a 26-lane highway get you'd like to think not that busy but why have they got 26 lanes there's a reason they've got 26 yeah. lanes isn't there smash the like button guys smash the subscribe button go and check out lots because this was another good laugh video and uh if you guys are watching us why not go and check him out his link is in the description what should do have a fantastic day and we'll see you legends in the next one peace